Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm revisiting SA DirectX on uh, Proton because Proton 4.11 just got released. So figured now would be a good time to take another look at it for a number of reasons. Um, probably wondering why I'm doing the whole face cam meme. I got a webcam and I got a mic so I'm testing them. Um, from the testing I've already done, I expect the mic quality to be significantly better, but I guess we'll find out. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Proton 4.11 just got released, and it comes, amongst other things, with D9VK, which, much like DXVK, it will translate DirectX 9 into Vulkan, whereas DXVK translates DirectX 10 and 11 into Vulkan. So now your older games can take advantage of that technology as well, which is very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. With that, um, should hopefully come uh, better support for crazy DirectX 9 shader mods and stuff, including SA DirectX. So uh, here it is. Now, if you remember the previous video, I came to this part of the map, it wasn't raining, it was just sunny, and the frame rate was like down in the 30s, I think. It was not good, but now we have the rain on, and yeah, we're sitting between 45 and 50 FPS. Now, if we turn off the rain... Interestingly enough, yeah, it takes a wee second there, but yeah, now we're back up to about 57, 58. So, yeah, performance is a hell of a lot better with D9VK. Um, however, that doesn't mean there aren't still problems with this. Uh, water still doesn't work. Uh, Vehicle colours are a bit dodgy. Uh, what else is a problem? The menu. You remember in the previous video I was complaining about the menu. It's still a problem. Um, right, okay, that's something. Uh, so this is a very high preset that I'm using at the moment. I have made one modification, which is I disabled use original pulse press processing. I'll uh, hopefully be able to show you why I did that. You remember the, the horrible white bloom that was absolutely everywhere during the day. Um, let me just kill myself to advance time. And you'll, you'll be able to see what I mean. Everything is just white. Yeah, look at that. Absolutely horrible. Just, ugh. Like, I'm a dark mode guy these days. Everything has to be dark mode. This is burning my retinas, so... Yep, just disable original pro processing. There. Now, I do think that the disabling that option it makes the whole game look a little bit dull, a little bit washed out. There's probably some colour correction tweaking I could do to offset that, but honestly, I'd rather the game looked a little bit dull than having my eyes dazzled every time it's j sunny during the day. Um, that's just me though. <laughs> so, I think that about covers it. Yeah, it's, it's working great, I think. Uh, certainly compared to the last video. Um, I should mention as well, I did previously, uh, didn't make a video of it obviously, but I did try to create a wine prefix, uh, install D9VK to it, which I did manage to do successfully, however San Andreas was just not having any of it. It would try and launch 640x480 and then crash instantly and then leave my resolution monitor all fucked up and I'd have to manually change it and all that shit, like... Yeah, I, I certainly don't miss that from my Windows days. I, I really do not have that issue with any games, even older games like San Andreas. 
fact, San Andreas was one of the worst on Windows for leaving my monitor all fucked up. Um, but thanks to Proton and its crazy built-in borderless upscaling technology, you can run any game at any resolution and leave the actual resolution of your monitor untouched. Um, which, you know, that's just one of many features that to me makes gaming on Proton better than the native Windows experience. Um, but no, I'm going off on a tangent here. Uh, the video is pretty much finished. <laughs> I should just wrap it up. Yeah, it's working, lads. It's working. Um, yeah, that's about it. See you later.